Good morning, our dear grade 7 science learners. Welcome to another session of School on Air in Science, where learning is fun and easy. I am glad to be with you for another quarter of discovery and aha moments as we take up new insights and ideas. This is your teacher presenter, Teacher Rosalie Alcosur, and together we'll uncover the wonders of science. In this session, we are going to talk about the parts of the microscope. It is important to know the function of each part before using a microscope. We will learn more as we start. Make sure your modules are ready and let us go through the different parts. Let us learn. This presents the lesson objectives. Let us try. This is the pretest, a test to evaluate your preparedness for further studies and check on your previous knowledge. Let us study presents the new lesson to be taken up in your module. It is where the objectives will be taken up. Let us practice. Gives exercises that help you in your discovery and understanding of the concepts. The lesson is presented while doing the exercises. Let us practice more presents additional exercises, more practice, more discoveries. Let us remember, summarizes the lesson with a recall activity to roll all the objectives in the lesson. Let us assess, is a test at the end of the lesson that should check if learning is achieved. Let us enhance. This activity strengthens mastery of the lesson. The learner at this point already have all the learning objectives achieved. Let us reflect. Presents real life application of the concept. It will aid you to incorporate your learnings on your day to day activity. This learning resource class hopes to engage you into a guided and independent learning. Take charge of your learning pace and in no time, you will successfully meet the targets and objectives set in this module, which are intended for your ultimate development as a learner and as a person. Hope that you will have fun while going through this material. Before going through, here are some reminders. As you go through with the different activities of this module, be reminded of the following. Number one, use the module with care. Do not write anything on this module and remember, others can still reuse this. So, have fun. Number two, don't forget to answer Let Us Try. These questions checks your previous knowledge of the lesson. Number three, read the instructions carefully before doing each task. Number four, always observe honesty in answering the questions. Number five, finish the task at hand. Check and review before proceeding to the next task. And lastly, return this module to your teacher once you are done. This is important for your teacher's assessment if you have grasped the lessons in the module. If you have encountered any difficulty in answering the tasks in this module, do not hesitate to consult your teacher or facilitator. Always bear in mind 
that you are not alone. We hope that through this material, you will experience meaningful learning and gain deep understanding of the relevant competencies. You can do it. After going through this module, you are expected to, number one, enumerate the parts of a microscope. Number two, determine the function carried out by each part of the microscope. And number three, discuss the importance of microscopes in scientific investigation. Now, let us try to answer the following questions to test your previous knowledge. Ready? Number one. It is used to enlarge the image of an object. It is also used to see objects that can't be seen by the naked eye. A. Camera B. Flashlight C. Microscope D. Television The answer? Correct! Letter C. Microscope Number two, it is attached to the nose piece. It magnifies the specimen. A, arm. B, diaphragm. C, objective lens. D, stage. Yes, the answer is letter C, objective lens. Number three, it is where one looks through to see the image of the specimen. A, body tube. B, eyepiece. C, nose piece. D, objective lens. Answer, B, eyepiece. Number four. It is a long tube that holds the eyepiece and connects it to the objectives. A. Base B. Body tube C. Eyepiece D. Nose piece The answer, B. Body tube Number 5 it is the rotating part of the microscope at the bottom of the body tube. It also holds the objective lenses. Letter A, base. Letter B, body tube. Letter C, eyepiece. D, nose piece. The answer, D, nose piece. Number six, it is the part of the microscope that is used to carry the microscope with. A, arm. B, coarse adjustment knob. C, fine adjustment knob. Or D, stage. The answer, yes, it's A, arm. Number eight, it is a small round knob on the side of the microscope used to fine tune the focus of your specimen after using the coarse adjustment knob. Letter A, diaphragm. Letter B, fine adjustment knob. C, stage. D, stage clips. Answer, yes. Letter B, fine adjustment knob. Number nine, it is a large flat area under the objectives where the slide is being placed for viewing. It also has a hole allowing light to pass through. A, stage. B, fine adjustment knob. 
C. Course adjustment knob. D. Stage clips. The answer is A. Stage. Number 10. It is responsible for holding the slide in place on the stage while viewing. A. Base. B. Diaphragm. C. Mirror. D. Stage clips. The answer is D. Stage clips. Number 11. It supports the microscope and enables the microscope to stay in an upright position. A. Base. B. Body tube. C. Mirror. D. Objective lenses. Answer is A. Base. Number 12. It controls the amount of light reaching the specimen. A. Base B. Diaphragm C. Eyepiece or D. Nose piece The answer is B. Diaphragm Number 13 It is the source of light which is usually found near the base of the microscope. A. Arm B. Base C. Body tube D. Mirror The answer D. Mirror Number 14 When using the microscope, the object or the specimen becomes a. Larger B. Smaller C. Nothing happens D. C. Only The answer The object or the specimen becomes A. Larger Number 15 When focusing on the specimen under the microscope what would happen if you move the slide to the right? A. The image will continue to move to the right. B. The image will move to the left. C. The image will not move. The answer? B. The image will move to the left. The Radio Z Escuela program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Arquicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanawai Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders. GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. We're back. Please check your modules on the Let's Study part and we will begin the discussion of our lesson. Can you recall the smallest thing that you have ever seen? How do those things or objects interact with people? How do you think scientists able to view and observe the overall characteristics of some very small objects or those which cannot be seen by our naked eye. People are naturally curious creatures, always exploring things to better understand the world around them. Because of this curiosity, 
several tools and equipment were invented to help them explore and discover the mystery behind object's origin. Currently, the world is facing this COVID-19 pandemic, which took millions of lives around the globe. Many were shocked on how this virus spread and was transmitted from human to human. Even before COVID-19, many microorganisms have caused death to millions of people. However, scientists were able to mitigate these problems. How were scientists able to come up with solutions to stop outbreaks? What did the experts do to study the characteristics of a certain bacteria or viruses? People are curious creatures. We are eager to look for a solution to understand the world better. Because of our curiosity, we were able to invent tools that can be of use in helping us understand and explore the world around us. Scientific study requires tools and equipment in dealing with advancement and be able to create a concrete information about certain things. Therefore, the invention of instruments helps scientists, doctors, nurses, and other medical experts to extend the limits of their human senses. Have you ever witnessed your father, your mother, or your grandparents read a newspaper using an eyeglass? Why do you think they use such? Eyeglasses are used by some adults to see images in larger magnification. Hence, they use eyeglasses in reading newspaper for them to clearly see the small letters found in the reading material. Like an eyeglass, a microscope is invented instrument used to enlarge the image of an object which cannot be seen by our naked eye. Many scientists use microscope to study the physical and internal characteristics of organisms. Microscopes are used to unveil the hidden mystery of life, such as the structure of living things, chemical composition of substances, and other characteristics that cannot be seen by the human eye. Microscopes are of different kinds. The most common microscope used in school laboratories is the compound microscope. Here are its parts and corresponding functions. Eyepiece or ocular lens. It is where the individual looks through and makes one able to see the object. Coarse adjustment knob. It is a large, round-shaped adjusting knob on the side of the microscope used to move the upper part of the microscope to focus an object or a specimen. Body tube. It is a long tube that connects the objective lens attached to the revolving nose piece and eyepiece. Fine Adjustment Knob It is a small, round-shaped knob used to fine-tune the focus of the object or specimen. The Arm It is the part of the microscope where you can hold and carry the microscope with. Revolving Nose Piece it is a rotating portion of the microscope 
under the body tube that holds the objective lenses. Objective lens. It is a mini tube-like part of the microscope attached to the nose piece that is used to magnify the object or specimen. The longer the objective lens, the larger the image of the specimen. Stage It is a flat-like disc area under the objectives that is used for viewing. It allows also light to pass through. Stage clips it is used to hold the slides in place. Diaphragm. It controls the amount of light that is directed to the object or specimen. Mirror or light. It is the part of the microscope that captures light which is usually found near the base of the microscope. Base. It supports the entire microscope. At this point, you are already familiar with the different parts and functions of the microscope. Now, you will practice these given exercises which can help you discover and understand the concept. We will start with Activity 1. Your part looks familiar, in which you are expected to identify the parts of the microscope and its function after you are done. Kindly turn your module on Let Us Practice Activity. Check the parts of the microscope. Name the parts of the microscope asked for each number. Choose your answers from the group of words in the box. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. These are the words to choose from. Course adjustment knob, eyepiece, body tube, arm, stage clips, fine adjustment knob, nose piece, objective lens, stage, diaphragm, mirror, base. Again, these are the words to choose from. Course adjustment knob, eyepiece, body tube, arm, stage clips, fine adjustment knob, nose piece, objective lens, stage, diaphragm, Mirror, base. I will give you 30 seconds to answer the activity. Are you ready? Okay. And your timer starts now. Are you ready for another activity, learners? Very good! Our activity 2, Puzzle Me. 
is another fun and discovery learning task which can help you identify the parts of the microscope and its functions at the end of the activity. This is a crossword puzzle with clues. Answer and complete the puzzle using the clues as your guide. Some of the items are already provided to guide you. Let's start. Number one, downward. An area where you can place the slides for viewing. Number two, across right. An area from which you can view the object or specimen. Number three, across right. You cannot carry the microscope without holding the blank. Number four, across right, allows you to adjust the magnification of the viewed objects or specimen. Number five, upward, allows the microscope to stand in an upright position. Number six, across right, adjusts the light that passes through the specimen. Number seven, downward. This holds the eyepiece and the objective lenses. Number eight, Across right. This makes sure that the slide is in place on the stage. Get all the answers correct? Another job well done, learners. To summarize the lesson, let us try to remember the following concepts and ideas by filling in the correct answers needed. Here's the procedure. Complete the graphic organizer by filling up the map with the words that describe the parts of the microscope and their functions. Kindly get your notes and try to answer the following questions to complete the map. Here's the following questions. Map 1. What is a microscope? Map 2. Enumerate the 12 parts of a microscope. Map 3. Explain how scientists and medical experts study very small organisms. Map 4. What is the importance of microscope in scientific research? I will give you time to answer with a short break. Have fun answering, learners! The Radio Z Escuela program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated. Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Archicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanawai Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation. Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc. Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. We're back, learners! For the last part of our radio based instruction today, 
we will try another activity to test your game knowledge. Please open your modules on Let Us Assess part and try to answer the questions given. Please have your pens and notes ready as I read each item and we will check your answers right after each question. Number one, it supports the microscope and enables it to stay in upright position. Letter A, base. Letter B, body tube. Letter C, mirror. Letter D, objective lenses. The correct answer is letter A, base. Number two, it controls the amount of light on the specimen. A, base. B, diaphragm. C, eyepiece. D, nose piece. The answer, yes, B, diaphragm. Number three, it is the source of light and is usually found near the base of the microscope. A, arm, B, base, C, body tube, D, mirror or light. The answer, D, mirror or light. Number four, it is attached to the nose piece. It magnifies the specimen. A, arm. B, diaphragm. C, objective lens. D, stage. Answer, yes, it's letter C, objective lens. Number five, it is where one looks through to see the image of the specimen. A, body tube. B, eyepiece. C, nose piece. D, objective lens. The correct answer is letter B, eyepiece. Number six, it is a long tube that holds the eyepiece and connects it to the objectives. A, eyepiece. B, body tube. C, nose piece. D, objective lens. The correct answer is letter B, body tube. Number seven, it is a rotating part of the microscope at the bottom of the body tube. It also holds the objective lenses. A, base. B, body tube. C, mirror. D, objective lenses. The answer, letter A. Nose piece. Number eight. It is the part of the microscope that is used to carry the microscope with. Letter A, base. Letter B, body tube. Letter C, mirror. Or letter D, objective lenses. The correct answer is Letter A, arm. Number nine, it is a large knob used to move the upper part of the microscope to focus the specimen. A, coarse adjustment knob. B, body tube. C, mirror. D, objective lenses. 
The correct answer is, yes, it's A, course adjustment knob. Number 10. It is a small round knob on the side of the microscope used to fine-tune the focus of your specimen after using the coarse adjustment knob. Letter A, fine adjustment knob. Letter B, body tube. Letter C, mirror. Letter D, objective lenses. The answer, letter A, fine adjustment knob. This time, we will check how well you have mastered the lesson with this another activity. Let us enhance. In this activity, the words are scrambled. Words that describe the parts and, and functions of the microscope. Unscramble the letters to form a word using the following clues. Please have your pens and notes ready. Number one. Blank is a curved glass that bends light on the object of specimen. Number two. Diaphragm is the part of the microscope that controls the amount of light on the blank. Number three. To transfer a microscope, use the blank to carry it. Number four. Blank holds the objective lenses. Number five. The glass slide is placed on the blank for viewing. Let us now check your answers of our activity. The answer for number one is lens. For number two, specimen. For number three, arm. Number four, no speeds. And number five, stage. Good job, learners! You are almost done with this session. Make a reflection of what you have learned from the parts of the microscope and their functions as part of your applications and grasping of ideas and concepts. In your notes, answer the following question. How do microscopes help scientists in making their observation? Now we are done with our lesson. Good job, class! Thank you for doing your best in each activity. You have explored another nugget of new concepts and ideas as much as you have enjoyed the session. According to Tim Minchin, science is simply the word we use to describe a method of organizing our curiosity. Thank you for listening, learners. This is Teacher Rosalie Alcacer of Mabuntura National Comprehensive High School with my content developer, Teacher Bonnie Jean B. Pineda of Attorney Orlando S. Rimando National High School. Until our next meeting, good day and God bless. Rajos Escuela Executive Committee, the school's division superintendent, Yofemia T. Gamutin Sasso 5, Assistant School's Division Superintendent, Dr. Romel R. Handayan. OIC Curriculum Implementation Division Chief, Karina S. Frasco. School Governance and Operations Division Chief, Dr. Robin J. Riponte. Members, Cecilia Morales, Dr. Hilda A. Opeña, Dr. Arlene B. Lim, 
Dr. Eldecris B. Calzadora, Dr. Dexter A. Sikinia, Nohara O. Pinute, Noemi P. Canales, Dr. Grace D. Pontilias, Virgilito C. Pabrises, Juanito Lapiceros, Engineer Norberto S. Manlangi, Jomar M. Dumupoy, Bob Dalan S. Milabat, Medard T. Ampit, and Paz Eugenia Villusino. Technical Working Committee Productions and Communications Lori Lee E. Quijano Given G. Hinampas Judy Land D. U. Donna D. T. Bolifer Mary Rose N. Resma Rewen Manuel Irene Lea C. Manguhon and Bessie Aya N. Banias Social Media and Packaging Team Christian Anhara L. Martesho William R. Ranara, Joan T. Iscoton, Roberto S. Acusar Jr., May B. Estanyol, Richard H. Arellano, Glee L. S. Blanco, Ralph A. Tabanyag, Angelo Gutierrez Jr., and Jade Karen Araiz.